Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, Lord. You are in the house tonight. It says where two or three or more of you shall be, so shall you, Lord. We thank you for meeting us as we sing, Lord. We lift your name up on high. We sing hallelujah. For in the secret we come and we get to know you more and more, Lord. That's what our goal is, to come here weekly. To not just come in and walk out the same, but to be different each and every Monday. To go out of here and take that that you've given us tonight and use it this week as we go out and meet people in your name. Bring those people across our paths, Lord. Lead us and direct us in what to say. Let us be able to lead them to the throne so they might ask for a relationship with your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this ministry. We thank you for this church. We thank you for these people. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's children say, amen. All right, now let's do the part that Bobby tried to steal from me. But we'll start on the other end. We were on the right. Say hi to David, all right? David on bass. You guys know him. Right here, playing percussion. Say hi to Chutima. Right back here, playing lead guitar. Say hi to Eric. Right here to my left, playing acoustic. Say hi to Melanie. Hi. As you guys know, Dave usually plays with us, and he is off on a bike ride this week. He's been up at Lake Tahoe. He sent us a picture the other day. He's been out doing I don't know how many miles. He said he took in enough dust to start his own personal garden. So uh, he just has to cough it all up, and then he can go ahead and start planting season. But in his place, and a joy, because one of the things I've always loved about this band in 25 years is that uh, when we have somebody that can't make it, there seems to be always someone who will step up to the plate and play with us. And that's an, a testament, I think, to the entire band that people love to play. And so tonight we have Mark Vitriol sharing on drums with us. <laughs> we, we have nothing to say about his San Diego Padre shirt, though, okay? Hopefully, hopefully he can still wear that with pride at the end of the season, as can you. For the rest of us, I don't know. So we're going to get back to some worship, some be able to get your hearts all prepared for the word tonight from, who's giving the word tonight, Bobby or Tom? Tom? Bobby. Bobby's giving the word tonight. So as you know, I think Bobby said, uh, we got a lot in store for us as we go through the next few months. Uh, in October, we're going to have a Halloween party, I think. Uh, Christmas time, we'll have our Christmas presentation to give to you. We are ready to get through the dog days of summer, but here's what I want to remind you of right now. It is July 19th, okay? So August is going to be here, September's back to school, October's Halloween, November's Thanksgiving, and December's Christmas, so I'm the first one to tell you, get your shopping done, because it's almost here, all right? I'm just telling you, okay? Christmas will be here before you know it. Last Christmas, I mean, somebody once said to me, Jeff, do you leave your lights up all year long? And I said, no. Nope. I only leave them up for six months because after that they're up early for next year. No, I actually take them down. But uh, no, I'm telling you, the year flies by. Can you believe we're already on July 19th? Is that hard to believe? It seems like just yesterday we were celebrating my birthday, February 19th. So remember that one for next year, all right? All right, let's get back to some more.
Have you ever felt like life's getting you down? Okay, let me rephrase the question. You ever felt like life's getting you down today? You felt like life's getting you down in the last couple of hours sometimes? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. A guy named Noah felt that way. A guy tells him to, well, guy, we'll call him God, tells him to build this thing called an ark. Now keep in mind, he has no idea what an ark is. But uh, he says, I want you to build this because I'm going to flood the earth. Which at the time, there had never been rain because all the water came up from underground. And he sits there and he goes, well, I do know a little bit about my science. If water's going to come, it's going to sink at the low spots. So I'll build the ark down by the shore. And God says, no, no, no. I want you to build it on top of a mountain. So... Everybody's looking at this guy and they're going, okay, this idiot's got all this stuff up at the top of the mountain. He's building an ark because he thinks it's going to flood so much that the whole earth is going to be flooded. Yeah. Lo and behold, he had to suffer all that. But he knew in the end that he could say to God, Lord, you will lift me up so high, I cannot drown. And all those who listened to him were lifted up, his family. And the animals, two by two. And I want to just get something straight here right now. All the animals didn't have to be full grown, okay? You could take two baby elephants and two baby giraffes. They didn't have to be full grown. You could take some eggs if they were like lizards and stuff. 
You could take the behemoths, which the Bible talks about, the Goliaths, which were the dinosaurs, but they were small babies. And then the world that we get after the flood is what changes everything. That's when we start to have some species die off. That's when we have the Environmental Protection Agency develop to start having species put on the endangered species list. Now that was a few years further on down the line, but that's what caused everything to change. But in the midst of it all, Noah still knew one thing. No matter how far down I may feel myself sinking, no matter how far I think that sinking will take me, the Lord will lift me up so high that I cannot fall.
Okay, we're going to do an offering now. We're going to receive our offering. We're going to have Tom come forward. Who stole the mic? Where's Mike? Mike, 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 Mike. We know Dave's not here. Dave? Dave's not here. All right. Welcome everybody to Love on Fire. Let's have a little special warm up. Father in heaven, we again thank you for our chance to be here tonight, our chance to gather in your name, to publicly declare that we love the Lord Jesus Christ and come together to worship him. He is our Lord, our Savior, and our best friend. Father, as we gather together tonight, we love to share from the things you've given us, sowing back into the ministry that God has given to you. Ministry that is, that is now love on fire. Or we want it to be on fire. We want it to be seen and heard, exploded in the hearts of the people who come in contact with this ministry that they might know that Jesus is alive, that He is the Savior, that He's Lord, and that we love Him. So, Lord, we sow into that kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
get ready to do our last song, I just want to put a shout out to Mark, thanking him for coming out and playing drums with us. We really enjoy it, brother. I'll, I'll, cut, I'll cut Dave's gas line every once in a while, okay? So you can come down and play with us. <laughs> we got one more for you. And uh, this is what I always say. Um, we love you. We know that God loves you. We hope that you love God. Because God's love never fails.
on fire. We'll see you in two weeks. Next week, you got Pastor Chavez here. God bless you all.